We are thrilled to be joined now by Spencer Turnbull, Craig Monroe, and Mickey York uh, back here in the studio in Detroit. Spencer, uh, that was absolutely fantastic. Um, can you somehow explain what the emotions are like right now, what this moment and what this night uh, has meant to you? I mean, it's just surreal. Um, I don't really have words right now, but probably the best day, best night of my life, to be honest with you. It's pretty freaking cool. I, said, I'm, I just don't really know what to say. I'm absolutely surreal. Just trying to soak it in. Spencer, at what? These guys behind me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they freaking said it in the first inning. Like, you're going to throw a no-hitter tonight in the first inning. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you can't see through the shaving cream, that was Jake Rogers, so you know who to find uh, later on when you when you make your way. Of course it was Jake. Of back, course it was Jake. <laughs> back, back to the clubhouse. Uh, leave it to the catcher. Well, let me ask you about the catcher you were working with tonight. Uh, what, what can you say about the game Eric Haas called for you this evening? I love throwing to Haas. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not, but I love throwing to Haas. He is... We've had you good chemistry great, every time he's called me. It's only been a few times. I <laughs> appreciate it. I'm sure I look fantastic <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, no, I love it. I enjoy every second of this. We were watching you in between innings. I will say that shaving cream doesn't taste the best. No. <laughs> it's not delicious. It's not whipped it's cream. Not I promise you that. <laughs> Uh, well, you, you won't have to find any if you go to shave after the game. You're set there. There's plenty of it still sticking to your face. Uh, we were watching you in between innings, and you're not sitting down. You're, you're, you're kind of bouncing back and forth, standing up, wearing to go. What's going through your mind as you're waiting to get back out on the mound tonight? Uh, mostly just trying to keep my body loose and just stay locked in. There's been a lot of times um, in games previous where I'd you know, lose mental focus in between innings sometimes, especially if things are going really well. Um, I kind of, I've had a tendency to kind of let off the gas with my mentality sometimes. And lately I've just been really trying to stay as locked in as possible without shifting out of that mindset at all. Um, I'm not perfect with it at, by any stretch, but I do feel like I've made some huge strides there over the last year. Um, and yeah, just mostly just trying to stay locked in, trying to stay um, present with the game, but just trying to feel my body the whole time, keep it loose. Um, if I feel like I need to keep anything warm or stretch anything out or, you know, roll anything out or whatever it is, I just try to just stay present and feel my body and uh, be ready to go out there the next inning. Hey, Spence, uh, man, first of all, congratulations, dude. I'm so extremely proud of you because I know how hard you've worked. We've had some great conversations, and I know the work you've been putting in. Uh, but I do want to ask you about that ninth inning. I have to ask you, with two outs, Hanger comes up, and, and he's been their best hitter. Uh, he's got 12 home runs. Can you take me through that emotion? Take me through what you were telling yourself when you're on the mound and you're like, okay, I have an opportunity. I got to get three. I mean, I got to throw three strikes or I got to get one more out. What was the thought process there? Um, I had a gut feeling that I was going to end up having to face him one more time for whatever reason. I was like, I remembered, you know, I'd already given up a walk, so one more walk wasn't going to change the no hitter at all. And I just kept that in the back of my mind just in case I might have needed to make a really close pitch here or there. I, could, I had the opportunity to nibble a little bit, but I don't want to think like that much. Um, but I knew that in between angles, like, there's a chance if I don't get three up, three down, I might have to face Hanager again. And he's by far um, their most consistent, strongest hitter. And he hit me really hard once uh, to center. Yeah, he got a slider pretty good, just missed it. Um, then he smoked one right at Candy. And Candy made a fantastic play earlier in the game. So I was like, I mean, of course, I'd have to face him one more time, but I felt good. Um, we started off with a sinker, pretty much just middle, middle, just wanting to get ahead. Um, just put as much on him as I had left. And then I threw a very good executed slider that bit off really well. And then he'd missed several of my four seamers earlier in the game. I was like, he's getting nothing but straight heat this last one. And I just threw it as hard as I could. <laughs> I love it, man. Congrats, dude, again. Well, Spencer, you have thrown the eighth no-hitter in Detroit Tigers history, the first since Justin Verlander in 2011. And another guy that's a part of that Tigers no-hitter club is joining us now. Mr. Jack Morris would like to speak with you for just a moment. Jack? Hey, hey Jack. Matt, you know... You know how proud I am of you right now. And uh, it's almost better than me throwing one is watching and calling one. It's just so inspiring. I love you, man. I, I was so happy for you. And uh, 
We'll catch up. Love you too, man. One of these crazy days, we'll catch up and uh, <laughs> relive this a few times. Congrats. I appreciate it. The only thing I have left to say is just all glory to God. I really feel like his presence was with me all night. Honestly, warming up in the bullpen, I felt horrible. My mechanics were not <laughs> clicking at all. I was like, all right. It's going to be a mentality day. We're just going to have to fake it till I make it today. And <laughs> after the first, I started to click in a little bit and felt really good in the second. But like I said, whatever it was, I was really off warming up in the bullpen. But I just said a quick little prayer and just like, all right, we're going to go for it. Whatever, you know, whatever I got today is what I got. And that's how it is. A lot of firsts for you, Spence. Your first career complete game, your first shutout uh, at the big league level, and then the no-no to top it off. So, again, congrats, and man. And to top it off. I get to take a round of BP now because AJ promised me that after a complete game shutout, I get to take I get to take BP one time. So go Maybe yard I two with a no hitter. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> two days. No, no. Otani has nothing over you, man. <laughs> <laughs> the night the night keeps I on getting since better. Church League softball four years ago. We're going to swing for it. <laughs> hey Spencer, enjoy it. Uh, congratulations once again. A brilliant performance, uh, and now uh, part of that exclusive no hitter club in Detroit Tigers history. Enjoy the rest of your night, my friend. Go celebrate, kiddo. Thank you, guys.